welcome to the Nifty Scrapbooker. Today I'm going to teach you how to take accessories from Kiwi Lane, like this candy, this ghost, these pumpkins, and turn them in this cat, and turn them from, from just ordinary accessories to wow accessories, like these cute little pumpkins down here, or this cute little cat, or these colorful candies, or this translucent ghost we have up here. We're going to show you how to do some of these things, but on the other page, this is the other half of the page, I usually show you at the end of the video, but we're going to show you at the beginning of the video and see what kind of wor work we're going to be doing here on this Halloween night. So let's just set that aside and get out our accessory template. Now this, a lot of those, the, the candy, the pumpkin, the cat, uh, is part of this accessory set. This is the Haunted accessory set, and in it comes this nice template called the Haunted House, Haunted number six. And we're going to take you how you make that from just being a basic house into something wow. We're going to be using colors black, purple, yellow, and green. As you can see here on these markings, I have things already traced out, and I'll tell you how I trace them out. And uh, we'll get cutting and get putting this together with just a few accents, and we'll get this from being just an ordinary template to a wow template. First, we're going to take our scissors and cut out this. I don't know if you can see that in the, in the light there, but I do have the pencil grid already on there outlined. So we're just going to take our Fisker scissors here and just start making cuts on this. Careful to cut, cut along the lines there. And this haunted house has some curves in it. Cut from here. I bought this six by six pack from Dollar General. It's great little paper to do these kind of accessory cutouts. And it has a whole bright a whole array of colors in it. It's sort of like I think four dollars, around four dollars, four to five dollars. You can have a hundred sheets of multicolored six by six paper. So you'll want to check out your local Dollar General. So here we go. Now then I want to show you a trick about these templates. Now there's two ways you could cut these templates out. Okay? You could I could do this and then I could go on here, lay this template like that, and cut these out and then take an exacto knife and cut all these little holes out. Or what's the easier way to do this is we'll take this and then what I did is I took these pieces and I laid it on here lined it up and traced it out. I traced out this window, then this window, then this window, then this window. And I traced it all on yellow paper because I wanted those to be. And then we're just going to glue them on top of the print. And I'll show you how easy way to get everything placed exactly where you want it. So we're going to go ahead and cut out all our windows and doors. Sometimes I like to take a six by six piece like this and cut it down. So we'll just, what we'll do is we'll cut this around like that. We'll set this off to the side, use it for other accessories I might want to cut out and then we can just cut these out. And so there's our first, there's our door and let's cut along here and we'll, oops, let me cut that out again. This is our scrap pile over here, our window pile over here Scrap, window, scrap, and window. So there we go. Got all those cut out. Now we're going to cut out our little circle window. I really like these... Um, this template that came out it came with six different templates. The haunted house is one of them. There's a moon, um, a witch's hat, which you'll be seeing in a little bit. We saw the cat, the pumpkin, the candy, jack o' lantern candy. The ghost came from a different set. Now, what I did 
is I laid this here on here and I traced this out like this all the way around three sides, almost three sides, and I brought it out, took my ruler and cut it across. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I took it down here, I traced it up this way, down that way, across this way. Then I took it off, brought the line over, and brought the line down. So we'll have a purple roof. So we're going to cut those out next. Now, uh, something else I've done differently in this set is usually you see me edge, um, ink all my edges, which I have done in this one, in this in this layout. But I've inked usually I ink with um, vintage photo. But considering this is Halloween night and it was a Halloween layout, I wanted to do um, vintage uh, instead of vintage photo. I wanted to do black soot. So that's the. It, um, the black distress ink is called black soot and we'll be using that to edge our pieces here with ink our pieces with and there's our other roof okay we'll set this aside throw these little pieces away take this thicker piece set it aside for other things now the green what I thought was adorable is I saw someone use this set and they put little shutters on and so I thought, oh, wouldn't that be great to have little shutters? So what I simply did is I simply outlined my windows again. And what I did then is I took the windows and cut them in. I put a line down the middle of them. And what that does is that gives you two halves of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to be making shutters for our haunted house little green shutters and we'll show you how to ink those up carefully because they're thin and we'll uh, cut these apart in just a minute let's get them cut off here okay now we're going to take these little shutters and we're going to cut them in half like that they're just little pieces because they're going to be little shutters on the side of our windows so basically a shutter is made to go against on each side of the window and when you have them closed it should cover the window so that, that, that's why they're half the size of a window. So that's what we did with those. Okay. I'll we'll throw these away. That away. And let's start inking up and building our layout. Now I want to show you one of the other pieces I did. Here's one. Here's the, um, there's the hat, which is hat we did. Here's the full moon, or the half moon, we did, and you can see it better in the trees. I cut these trees out. This is from our uh, October set of Kiwi Club. We got some trees with great big leaves that go up behind them, and I'm just using the just the branches this time. So as you see, I took a white uh, jelly roll pen from Sakura, and I did stitching around the side. So we're going to be doing that. I did stitching on the moon. I did stitching on the hat. We're going to be doing the same with our our house here but we want to get it together first one thing I want to do is this is a black piece of paper that has white core and so what we're going to do with this is we're going to edge this now you think you're not even going to see the edge on this and um, the problem is you're going to see it you're going to see that white on the edge of there so we don't want to see that white so we're just going to simply take our our black soot here and we're going to edge it real quickly just the edge of it to get those white corners and white edges black again. That'll bring these into looking more like the dark house that we want it to look like. So we're just going to go down here where that white edge is and edge that with this ink. Because you really don't have to worry about the look of it because it's black on black, which isn't really going to show. Especially when we put all these accessories on. There we go. Now we have black cardstock that looks black through and through. Okay, there we go. Now let's go ahead and edge our house pieces. Now this what you're going to see is going to give a textured look, a depth to your your accessory that you won't normally see without the ink edging. 
and I love this black soot so we'll just make it a little dark and ink the corners a little bit make it look a little darker there see this is going to go right in there like that go ahead and ink this one and get that one done that, all three sides the only bad thing about these um, papers from the the Dollar General is they are white core paper so inking the edges is very important there we go we have our little uh, roofs there now we're going to take the door and we're going to edge that a little bit we're going to lay that right there I'm going to show you how to place these We'll be adding a little extra to those windows. I saw somebody else do it, and we're going to do it. We're going to make little panes on the windows after we get them inked. So, there we go. Third one. Window. There we go. Sometimes you get ink on your fingers doing this. Yes, okay, we got the round window left. And then we have all our shutters. There we go. See how dimensional those look now? We're even going to try to ink our others, our shutters. Give them a little dimension. those two ink. I don't know how this is going to work. Ink the sides of this. We'll have to come in from the side. There, like that. Oh, that's not as hard as I thought it was going to be. There we go. Nice little shutter. Luckily, I have a fine line tape, tape runner. It does these little pieces of tape. So we'll be able to use those. As you can see, I'm inking up my fingers as well. That's okay. We can wipe those off the rag in just a minute. So we get these shutters done. We have four more to go. All these windows in this haunted house. any of those kids in your neighborhood came around for trick-or-treating we didn't have anybody come around to our house we live kind of in the back of nowhere so they don't usually come to our house for Thanksgiving but I know some people had these uh, what they call candy can cannons or candy shoots and they were so they keep social distancing from the kids but still get the kids could still get to come up and get the candy which I thought was an ingenious idea this year for Halloween very very smart I hope you guys are all being out there and being safe and keeping your mask on and washing your hands. I know I sure am. Our family has so far been COVID free and we thank the Lord for that. All right, there we got everything inked up. And along with my finger. <laughs> so I just have a rag here, a microfiber rag that I clean my fingers off with, my nails. <laughs> There'll be a little bit of stain, but that's okay. All right, now let's put this thing together and get it edged, inked. We got it inked. Let's put it together. Okay, we'll slide our shutters over here. Bring this house down here. Now, we're going to go ahead and put our roofs on first. So we'll go ahead and take our tape runner and uh, get some tape on here. There we go. There we go. The 
There we go, and let's get the other roof on. And then I'm going to show you a trick on how to get all these windows and doors on and to make it look just like the template looks. The trick I used in a, on another template we had, we had a Southwestern theme template come out for our Kiwi Club a couple months ago. It's like, how do I get that look like that? And I came up with this really slick idea. I don't know if anybody else does it, but this is what I do. <laughs> then we got our other roof lined down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our template and we're going to lay it on top of here. Now all of a sudden, we have all our spaces. So we'll take this right here, get it some tape, and we're going to bring it down here, line that up along the corner there, and drop our door in. Now our door is in the right location. We're going to take our window, we're going to put a couple pieces of tape on there, we're going to drop it in our window, right like that. Take another window, put a couple more pieces of tape on there, Oops. get some more tape on there, there we go, drop in our window. have to do is we just pick up our template and there we got our windows in and our door in just like it was intended to be. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take these and we're going to run a little bit of tape runner on them. I think these windows I can put this tape runner on them. I don't know if that's going to be big enough. Oh, yep, there we go. We're going to put it on each side of this window. There we go. Okay, let's get our other tape runner so you can get it going. I'm having a little problems with this one. There we go. Got a little ink on it. Bring it over here. I mean a little bit of glue on it. There we go. Now for these other ones, I don't know if I can use this tape runner or not, or if it's going to be too small. Let's see. There we go. We'll put a little shutter on the side. Then we're going to. There's the side of one window. There we go. On the other side. Got a lot of accessories to this. Make this look more like windows instead of just stripes on a on a page or on a house. So. Two more, one, two more shutters, one more window. Put this page all together. Whoops. Got the ink, got the glue right not right on it. Fold that over so you can't see it from the other side. Good as new. Okay, now we got everything in place. Now we're gonna take a black pen. This is a Creative Memories back pen from about 20 years ago. We're gonna be coming down the middle of the window and we're gonna be making panes. Down the middle of each window and making panes. Down the middle of a window and making panes. Three, four. Now what we're going to be doing with the shutters is we're going to just be making lines like shutters have down the side.
Okay, we're gonna come in here. We're gonna have shutters on this one. I'm gonna put in some panes on this window, down in the middle. And there we go. The little doorknob on the, our door. And there we have our haunted house. Isn't that a great accessory now? We took that from just being a basic accessory, adding lots of color, lots of Halloween color. And it could just be a plain black castle or a haunted house like this, or we could add a lot of personality to it like that. So let's look at this layout. Let's put this layout together. I'm excited to show you this. So first we're going to start with a, a really nice base. Bring all my accessories up here as we build our scene for our haunted house template. This is the paper we're going to be using. It says stuff like horror, trick or treat, Halloween, scary, dream, spooky, go, ghouls, RIP, and has little spiders hanging down from it. So we're going to take this one. What I did is I went ahead and made the border because I wasn't talking about borders today. And I used, uh, this is Funky Frills. This is Paisley Place. And this template is called Spook Alley. So appropriate for this kind of. So what we did is we just layered those three. Funky Frills is designed, just to let you know, to layer with, it will tell you what it's layers with. This Funky Frills 2B layers with Paisley Place 1B. So what I do is I get Paisley Place 1B, and I lay it on top, and look at that. It gives those little ridges. Then I took a Spook Alley, and I laid it on top of there. And there we got our, our, our borders. So this is not the same border. This border, I actually use these three which was first Funky Frills, that's 2A, meets with Paisley Place 1A, so that's what does that, and then we layer Spook Alley on top of there, and when we did that, that's exactly what we have here, see that, it matches up right with it, so that's what we got here, so I just did that, inked that with the black soot, and glued it together, now we're simply just going to put some adhesive on this, Okay, alrighty, let's get this glued down. We're going to bring this right up to the edge, corner up there, bring the corner down here, and glue that on. And then we're going to take our little witch hat, and we're going to dance it up along here in our border. Now we're going to Work with our moon. And we're going to drop it right up here in the corner. That's oh, a great moon. Look, it looks like there's spiders hanging from it. Okay, we got our trees. But somehow, I am missing a tree. There it is. It fell on the floor. You'll have to forgive me. So there we got our trees that I told you we did. And we have our haunted house. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this one. We're going to run it up the side here. We'll take this and one. And we'll there we go. Got some adhesive on that. We're going to run this right up the edge here. Okay, then we're going to put in our house. Don't need a whole lot of adhesive on there. I'm going to drop this right beside this. There we go, there's our little spooky house. And here's going to be our next two trees. So let's go ahead and put this on. down really good. 
bring this up as close as I can to the house. Put in our next one. We'll put a glue strip there. There we go. Put it there. Just put it on each tree trunk so this thing stays down there. Adhesive is giving me fits today. Of course, Halloween night. Why not give fits? Okay. There we go. And a little bit there. There we go. A little bit there. There we go. A little bit there at the bottom. There we go. Let's tape this sucker down. I'm gonna bring that over there. Right there. Let's get our all our limbs down. And there we go. Look at that great page. Perfect for your Halloween pictures. You can do a four by six photo here. And what I would do is I would just cut a four by six photo mat. Let's let's just cut a photo mat here and see what it looks like. Get out our handy dandy paper cutter. I have some black paper here. Four by six photo. There we go. Your kid in there. Isn't that great for a photo? Stick it right there. Bring in page two. We can add a couple photos in this one. Let's do a four by six, like that one. We can lay a four by six up here, a four by four here, and see, we can even, we can even throw our ghost over top of the picture. Wouldn't that be great? And have a couple pictures, a couple pictures on this page. Have all your kids lined up on this double page spread. Let's see if I can get everything in view so you can see the two pages together up this page. There you go. There's our Halloween. Isn't that neat? The pumpkins and the haunted house and the candy and the moon, the witch's hat, the ghost, and these great borders along this great, great page. And if you look, I did not realize this, when you put these together, look, chills. Halloween goes right across. The spider connects in the middle. Trick, witch, all these words connect. Isn't that great? So you even have paper that matches up with each other. So there we go. There's our haunted house layout for this month. I'm glad to be back. I'm sorry I haven't been here for three months. Haven't posted anything. I've been very busy with a new job. But uh, we hope you guys had a safe and wonderful Halloween. Hope your kids got lots of candy. Don't let them eat too much tonight. And we'll see you the next time on The Nifty Scrapbooker.